Hey, good people. So I hope you're having a great week so far. And uh, I was thinking about fear this week and how when my life is filled with so much fear, it's a direct indication of my relationship and walk with the Lord. Because I believe that fear is a lack of power. And so when I look at my life and I'm filled with so much fear, it's an indication that my walk with the Lord is not as strong. You know, or I am straying away from God's power. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm leaning into my own power. Because here's the thing. As human beings, we like to take control. And especially during the good times in life, it's very easy to tell God to take the back bench. You know? And for you to go back and take control of your life. And in that way say, you know, God, uh, I don't really need you right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to holler at you when I need you. But in the meantime... I got this, you know, I can, I, I, I got this, I can, I can live my life, I don't need you right now. And so what happens is when you, when you do that, you're, you're heading into a dangerous zone where you are moving away from God's power and you're moving into your own power. And, uh, you know, the enemy is very cunning and baffling and fear is from the enemy. And so the minute you walk away from God's power and you walk into your own power, then you're walking into right into what the enemy wants. Because fear is not from God. Fear is from the enemy. And fear can be dangerous. The acronym for fear is false evidence appearing real. And so the enemy is cunning and baffling. And, and what he does is he makes this fear appear so real. Accepting who you are, that you are flawed. Is really good because then you start to learn your limitations and you start to learn that in your own power you are very limited that in your own in, in your own power you would run into trouble if you run away from God's covering and you run on your own wisdom and wit and strength and power because it's very limited and it's flawed and so one of the best ways to be able to overcome fear is realizing that the reason that fear has spread so much in your life is because you have strayed on your own and coming back to God's power and God's covering. Because with God's power and God's covering, there is no way fear doesn't have room when the Spirit of the Lord comes in. You know, when you are under God's covering, when you are under God's power, fear doesn't have room at all. Because you start to realize and start to understand that the God that you serve is way bigger than the fears that you face. You know, and you start to realize that, that my God is too big for my fear. And not the other way around. That my fear is not too big for my God. Uh-uh. That my God is way too big for my fear. And then that fear is crushed. Because you, saw, because you understand and, 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 and when you are under God's covering, when you are under God's power, when you go back and you start, you know, you start cultivating this relationship with God and you go on and you start fanning the flame and the intimacy with God and you start digging into the word and you start knowing the truth. You know what the truth does is the truth sets you free and fear does not have room when God is there because fear is not from the Lord fear is from the enemy and God cannot be there and and fear be there that's that's the very truth and it's the very truth the fear is false evidence appearing real and the enemy is very cunning he he makes it appear so real and makes it appear like you're facing this mountain that is so big 
that nobody, not your family, not your class, not your finances, not anything that you own will be able to fight it. That's the enemy. But when you come in with God's power, when you stand in on God's power and God's covering, then you start to realize that that is a lie from the enemy. That the God that you serve is mightier than the fears that you face. And you know, and you look to the fear, and you tell the fear right to the face. You mountain, I command you to move and be toppled over. And if you believe, that mountain will be moved and toppled over. You know, in my own life, I've come to realize that. That sometimes there are things that we absolutely fear. That if something ever happened in your life, you fear that your life will be done. You know, whether it's a fear of losing a relationship, whether it's a fear of being disowned by your own family, whether it's a fear of just, you know, just being consumed by, by disease or sickness or, uh, or all manner of attacks from the enemy or, you know, addictions and and principalities and powers and, 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 and all these things that the world will spin around. See, take the thing that you fear the most, absolutely. That if this thing ever happened, my life would be over. I want to encourage you, take it, write it down. If it's just one, or if you have pages and pages of the fears that you fear the most, I encourage you to write them down. Write them down. And then, after you do, start to read them. Start to read them. And then start to invite God. Start to invite God into your life. Start to in invite God to fight for you against your fears because here's the thing in my life my personal uh, testimony is a few years back uh, some of the things that i feared the most happened it's like my biggest fears came to realization and and i hit rock bottom And, and some of the things I never thought I would ever make through, that if this thing ever happened in my life, I would be done. Yo, those things happen. But guess what? I wasn't done. I did not die. You know, when you hit rock bottom, rock bottom is very painful. very very painful because all of a sudden you hit down the furthest down you can go and after that I, I was like I, I was surprised to wake up the next day I was surprised to still be living that's when I started to realize that sometimes you can live life and, and, and let in so much fear in your life. And you let fear control you. And you know, fear is, is a tool that the enemy uses and he uses it very often, daily, on a daily basis, you know, to, to kind of control you, to kind of make you lose your focus. Because as long as you're focuses on what you're going through and the fears that you have in your life, you miss your focus on God. Because as long as you keep your eyes on God, what happens is 
all the distractions that are happening on the side, they do not bother you. All those fears, whether you fear monsters, all those fears, whether you fear losing a job, all those fears, whether you fear failing as a father, all those fears, whether you fear losing your marriage and, and, and losing everything, all those fears and sideshows, they don't bother you because your focus is on God. And you know, they just become part of life. But your focus is on God. And see, all those fears around me trying to invite my attention. But as long as I keep focused on God, those things will just be distractions. But it's not until I move away from God's power and I start to lean on my own power that I start to look on the side and I start to realize all these fears, all these distractions. But as long as I go back and I look to God, those fears, they won't bother me. They don't bother me because God's my power. And I'm going to tell you very true is, you know, the solution for fear is in the Word of God. The solution for fear is in God. That if you abandon cause of driving your own life, being in control of your own life, and you choose to focus back on God, God will restore. God will restore. And he will replace fear with love and joy. God will replace your fear with joy and love. And you get to walk with the peace of God. And so it's my challenge to you today. I'm going to challenge you. Are you in a, in a, in a period in life where you are going through so much fear that it stopped you from pursuing your dreams and goals that it stopped you from going out there and be who God called you to be I'm going to encourage you steer back to God's power steer back to God's covering Steer back to God and focus on Him and watch all these fears disappear. Because as long as your focus is on God, as long as you, uh, you know, as long as you invest in your relationship with God, then God does the rest. He comes in and He just takes away all the fears from you. And when the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So yeah, that's my, yeah, that's my word for today, is fear. Don't let fear control you. Come back to God's power. Come back to God's covering. And see fear. All right, guys, so thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, yeah, I mean, if you're watching this for the first time, please subscribe. Leave me a comment on, uh, you know, anything else that you would like for me to talk about. Otherwise, I'm going to keep uh, opening up my heart. And, uh, see, I like to do hearts to hearts where I, you know, I just open, uh, let, Lord, just let the Lord speak into my life and 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 just speak from my heart on you know my successes and on my struggles and uh you know in the hope that someone hears this and, and is blessed so 
yeah, I mean, keep coming back, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I still have a lot to share, I haven't even scratched the surface, and uh, I know God will bless you, and thank you so much for subscribing, and uh, yeah, thank you so much, and God bless you, until next time, I love you, but God loves you even more, thank you.